my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about Pinterest and the ad platform so we're going to talk about promoting a pin we're going to talk about using audiences we're going to talk about retargeting using uh, retargeting to people that have been on your blog or other sites using Pinterest ads they're actually really not that expensive compared to other platforms you can get uh, clicks for less than other platforms than even less than Facebook right now so it's a good time to learn to use the Pinterest ads all right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so ads you know spending money on ads is the same thing as spending time well I guess it depends it's not the same if you don't have the budget obviously you're gonna have to spend time and on social media lots of what happens is based on exposures right so exposures can be created by you engaging by you creating content or by spending money on ads and to create exposures without spending any money on ads you need to spend time and that's the reason why it's interesting to look at ads but you got to do it right because if you don't do it right you're going to be throwing money out the window for nothing you're not going to get any kind of results so we're going to talk about a little bit about the things I did the mistakes I made in the way though and the things that I've learned over the last couple of years on using Pinterest ads before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you'll definitely want to go check out the video at cis345.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen and showing you how uh, to use the Pinterest ad platform so let's get right to it let's share my screen over here and let's uh, show you Pinterest you've seen Pinterest I mean this is just the Pinterest feed right the feed is going to show you whatever it thinks you want to see there's got, they've got the for you the today and the following the, it's changed over the last couple of years but today you've got these three like tabs if you will on your feed your feed is normally accessible directly on the uh, whenever you go to pinterest.com or pinterest.ca depending on whether you're in Canada or the US or I don't know if there's other pinterest.something but me it's pinterest.ca but even if even then if I go to pinterest.com it still ends up there anyways that's that's not important um until you have a business account you can't create ads you're not going to see this ads tab or this analytics I don't think I'm not sure if there's going to be a create like this oh yeah it'll be there won't be a create ad obviously and to activate your business account it's been a while since I've done it but I'm pretty sure it's a simple process of just going and requesting your business account it's just a, a conversion it doesn't cost anything you just click a few things and you end up with a business account okay once you have a business account you're going to see business here and business hub which is the view that shows you your ads you've done in the past uh, the results you've gotten and things like that so as you can see I haven't I haven't done ads in a bit and I just had one save uh, 6k impressions and I spent 16 dollars in the last probably few months I guess recently I disabled them because I've been like not sure what to create ads for but I can show you how to create ads and that's what I want to show you I also want to show you about the Pinterest um pixel right I mean if you're doing if like for example if I go to my blog right I go to my blog and I'm going to show you the back end or actually I can just look at the page source on the blog I can uh, load up whoops Pinterest 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 let's look for the Pinterest there you go Pinterest tag so on your blog or any other website that you have for that matter you can actually put a Pinterest tag on your page like a pixel just like Facebook as you can see on this page I've got a TikTok pixel I've got a Pinterest pixel I've got a where's the other ones I've got doo -doo -doo, this is a LinkedIn pixel right here there's the this is LinkedIn then I've got the Facebook pixel right here so all these uh, tracking metrics basically what happens is when somebody goes to your blog to my blog somebody goes there these um these these little pieces of code keep track of somebody who's been on my site right so one of the things is the Pinterest 
the Pinterest one basically it'll track well this this could have a user's email but in the case of my uh, blog I don't have I don't have the email of the person right but on other sites you can control and then the cool thing about that is with Pinterest if you have the person's email address like for example if you're creating a site like if I create a site if I, I have my site uh, click eCourse right if I go to my click eCourse site and I look am I logged in I'm not logged in okay well let's just show you the the code here if I look at the code at the page code and I look for the Pinterest tag uh, where's the Pinterest Pinterest LinkedIn Pinterest uh, Pinterest right here so you can see right here that it says pin trick load with my my Pinterest uh pixel right and then over here em with nothing now what that does now once I log in if I log in here hopefully this works I haven't checked this in a while but the idea is that once you're logged in to the site the this site click eCourse knows who I am it knows my email address so when I look at the uh, when I look at this now now it's got my it's it's not my email it's a special code you you, you gotta program it but anyways that what that does is allows me as the website owner to keep track of who actually visited my website using the email address and that ties it even better to Pinterest beside the point beside the point let's talk about ads and how you create ads first you go to the ad here uh, you can go into your audiences uh, there's going to be also no what I want to do is I want to go to audiences I want to get my pixel right uh it's actually not in there overview reporting conversions maybe I forget where the pixel is you got to get the pixel someplace conversion tag manager there it is yeah so Pinterest tag right here so you go to ads and then you go to conversions right so under conversions so you can see right here that I've got 25 I've got 40 uh, 18 events so these are people visiting different websites that I have the tag on right and uh, this is my tag if I click on this Pinterest tag uh that's not what I want uh do, 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 do. where's the install it configure base no there's a place where you get the code to install it right I'm trying to like hmm where is it tag name well you gotta first install it right it's been a while since I installed it so I don't necessarily remember maybe it's under no it's not here tag events test test events oh, okay that's just events tag manager Pinterest tag Pinterest tag lets you measure learn more okay let's go learn more and just see where it is because it does say where it is okay so first the base code okay uh why should I install the tag how do I how do I install it okay there you go so you can use the tag manager in platforms such as Google Tag Manager there's different ways to do it um so add the Pinterest tag to your web copy your base code okay click on base code where is that going to take us where is my base code add the base code where can I find the base code Pinterest business account login click on ads conversions choose how to want to install get started next to an uh, add code next to add code that's weird that's where we were right we were right there under Pinterest tag I already have it so it probably won't doesn't let me do it hmm I don't know where you install it I don't know so there's a you got to be able to install the tag right configure base events ah there it is okay so once you've created it you go here the three little dots configure base events and then manually add tag to your website or you know if you've got somebody you just click on choose and there's there's where the code is right uh so hash email address there's it's all explained in the, in the how to but the point is you've got to get the tag so once you have the tag then you can choose to retarget people who visited that based on the tag by creating an audience that's based on that tag so if I go in here under audiences right so I want to create an audience let's create a new audience 
a uh, list of uh an engaged audience engage with your pins uh that behave similarly when uh, a list of customers that you upload visitors who went to your site right so that's so how do you know they went went to your site right it's because you've got the pinterest tag sorry about that next okay so I want to create a using see the pinterest tag right so let's call this let's call this uh blog visitors um oh actually let's call it click e-course I'm just going to put the click e-course one click click e-course visitors okay so um well that's the same thing description is okay and I'm going to go in here I'm going to say pinterest tag in the past 365 days add filter so this is where I would say event url contains click ecourse okay so now that forces that'll create an audience for just because I I put this tag on my click ecourse side on my blog and my snap exec site my my funnels all sorts of different places so I want only people that were on click ecourse because that's what I'm creating here right so I'm going to create this and now it's going to create click ecourse visitors now it's saying it's 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 initializing right so I won't have it but here's the other thing I've got other I got blog viewers right so this one here if I edit this you can see that this is confirmed domain in 90 days people who viewed pins on for my blog oh, okay so that's different so whenever you create a pin on Pinterest you can have people you can create an audience like this for example blog viewers this is not blog viewers these are viewed pins for my blog it's not my video do I have a video viewers blog visitors see this one here is my visitors to my Pinterest tag I don't think so I don't think so let's look at it again um Pinterest tag oh this is all just uh, 90 days oh that's only 90 days so let's say 365 say I want to change it to the last year I don't want just the last three months I want anybody who's seen my blog but anyways that allows me to so you can set a audience based on what they so you can so here let's go create audience again so visitors who went to your site a list of customers you upload and engage audience engage with your pins right so I can say engage audience I say next and it's going to be my confirmed domain which you by the way you have to get your domain confirmed and how do you do that let's whoops let's cancel that let's go here in my settings so when you go to your settings you got to set your confirmed domain because whenever you put your pins with a url going to say your blog or some other site you need to be able to make that a confirmed domain now it's not loading I'm not sure let's reload it uh it looks like Pinterest is not being nice to me okay let's go back here settings ah there you go okay so in here is where you have your domain so claim right here claim so I can claim I claim my Instagram account right I claim my YouTube and my website I can claim my website can I claim more than one add an HTML tag I want to just use this enter your website so if I go click ecourse I want to add click ecourse as a verified domain as well so I got to do that so I what I did basically is I said I'm going to add a text record so let's go to my let's go there and add it in here so how do you do that this is depending on your DNS server we're, we're talking about something kind of outside the scope of what we talked about but let me just get this done click ecourse text text records so this is what I want here Pinterest site verification like oops like this there we go and let's just save that so I, now I just added a Pinterest site verification 
done and if I go back to Pinterest over here I can say continue oh god it lost it click say click ecourse.com verify has already been claimed by another user oh <laughs> I must have done it in uh, a, another account because I do have more than one account can I s add another account so click ecourse click ecourse I forget there it is right here oops okay so I have a clicky course so there you go see website is is already registered right here I only have I didn't I haven't posted anything here that was just a test account I created that because I thought I needed a separate account at the time my account had been uh, marked as spam or whatever you want to call it so I just go back to here and I go back to my main account let's not worry about that but anyways that's how you verify your domain so you're going to have to there's three like you saw there's three different ways to verify your dom domain and um so what's this scheduled pins okay and uh yeah so let's go back to the ads okay so under the ad so the thing is that you need to create audiences before you can create ads right um you you can create an ad without it so say for example I go back to uh create an ad so in in Pinterest you can create different ads right brand awareness video views consideration conversions catalog sales right let's say I want to do a video views promotion right so first the campaign name doesn't matter I can probably uh set this I'm going to say a daily spend I want to spend no more than 20 dollars a day uh I'm not maybe, let's make it even 10 10 dollars a day I think you can I think in the how how much can I can I put a dollar oh I can I'm not sure but anyways let's say two dollars a day so active can be served pause okay continue um so now retarget people who have already interacted with your brand right so demographics audiences audiences customer list engaged site visitors dynamic retargeting find new customers so all this is obviously it, you can do select the category here or you can just you can select this and then there's different lists use existing list or you can create your own list or there's a place where is it do, 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 potential audience uh, site visitors I'm trying to remember here because it's been a while add group budget run continuously hold them uh, starting the fourth cost per view pay for video views so yeah so that's one thing that I did before let's just do this let's just do um retarget using engagement pins okay I'm just going to do that so these are the the accounts I did right pin views video viewers blog viewers 21k six minutes ago so let's just use my pin viewers 21k and add selected list engagement okay okay so I've got this my pin viewers right uh edit to include exclude and remove okay got it okay so over here there's demographics right you can say it, it says Canada I don't want just Canada I want specific locations I want say Canada I want Australia I want uh, New Zealand I want U.S and United Kingdom right and specific languages I just want English right I just want English so that's how you specify the language devices yeah devices is all fine browsers and search that's fine daily lifetime and there you go okay so now that's that's the basics of your uh, ad so you got to create an ad and then you gotta you gotta decide what that ad is going to display right so I'm I'm choosing an ad that has to do with 
um video views right I want people to view my video so what do I do with that I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select a pin of the videos these are see that's why it's showing me just videos right so I'm going to do this one not sure about the video format I guess we'll just do stand this one here so you just select it and there you go select it so you gotta see the oh I did two of them I don't want two of them don't want to whoops hold on I'm trying to see what's going on here I only want one okay so I don't want this one okay so this is how it works see how the little little check mark the little little white box that means it's going to be so and this is a mistake I made before I created one ad and then I selected like 20 pins for that ad and the thing is that I thought it would round rob in each of the each of them right but it doesn't do that it basically chooses well m m which might be okay it chooses the one that seems to be getting the most results but I'm not sure if it just picks the first one or not because when I did it before it showed that out of the 10 or 20 pins I chose only the first one <laughs> only the first one was getting money spent on it so anyways I just pick one now I just pick one I just want one just this one okay one pin selected see it says one pin selected right there whoops can you whoops what happened I'll review selected pins destination url is going to be my my website add name you could probably put a name but it doesn't really change much um and then you just publish you click on the publish button right there oh it says budget and schedule oh budget and schedule daily let's say five dollars bid maximum cost per view he says a bid of two cents or higher uh, let's do 0.02 that's fine I'll do two cents um standard I don't even know what that too low he said two or higher two five strong bid oh two two okay fine two two all right so now I can publish it there we go <clears throat> so now I have my ad which I think has to be approved first right it, it takes 24 hours to be approved but once it's approved then hopefully these videos will uh, allow me to see it so it, it says it's on right so there you go but it's not active yet okay now let's go back and look at what my past ads had done if I go back to my ads overview right here and I look there's no active ads right because I it's not activated yet but there's pending there's going to be this one pending ad right here and if I look at the uh, completed ones okay so this spent zero 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 let's look at those that's oh that's just in the last okay sorry it's showing me just the last where's the do, do, do. where how do you set the um, no that's not what I want how do I know it just says completed ads I want to see the hmm. okay let's go back to oh there it is last 90 days okay that's where it is <laughs> okay so over the last 90 days nothing 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 is there a custom custom range so you can't even see oh that's kind of uh, that's weird you can't see a reporting I guess I got to do a reporting so I want to see um data filters I want to see status I want to see completed completed ads and I want to see uh, conversion window 30 days oh no that's all I want cancel that and I want the dates there you go okay so I want to see the last I don't know let's say let's say June to well this year let's say this year what does it say this year this year oh, okay because the quarter and the year is the same there's no data so I guess you can't see you can't see the last year 
okay let's go back then to July 1st to December well let's to January 31st okay so oops July 1st oh. where's the, how do I set the date oh it is there I want to show you uh look at that it's July 1st why is it not showing me oh oh that's why all object there you go okay well so in October November so I had spent a little bit of money right so over here I sent 600 dollars in November that's crazy I didn't even realize I did 116 42 okay so what did I get from that right what did I get from that you see right here under this one I spent 195 dollars 104 clicks so dollar 88 per click a dollar 55 per click two dollars per click 2.99 per click so 90 cent 91 cents nine cents per click and the, so that's kind of what you're seeing at 13 cents per click 26 cents per click 25 cents right so you can see the price of these clicks now whether I got conversions or not I mean I wasn't actually I was this was all to build my audience it wasn't to actually sell anything at the time there's and even then even if it was if in, even if I did sell anything I don't have anything to track that there is a way in Pinterest to track events like for example let's say I want to go back here under my conversions and I want to create a couple of different events let's say I want to create events where is that at event type I want to see oh you know test events no tag manager I want to create events configure events code okay there you go manually set up events okay so I want to set up events I want to create different events see how these are page views it view category search at the cart all these things right so whenever you're create a table filter that's what I want I want to show so how does that work so when someone takes an action on a website says signing up to a newsletter buying a print this is known as a conversion you can get conversion reporting for nine types of activity on the website and review it on ads manager okay so that means that on my site I have to set these events whenever things happen on my blog so if I go back to my code here uh I have it in here so Pinterest there's the Pinterest tag and here are the events I'm just going to post them in here so events Pinterest events Pinterest events Pinter Pinterest events there you go okay so now I have the events I'm anyways I'm gonna have to code that obviously I'm not gonna do that right now with you but I <laughs> just wanted to show you so if you have if you have a Google tag manager and all these things you can you know it's you don't have to code it yourself right um but that's kind of how that uh, works the events I uh, will allow you to determine whether somebody bought something whether they added something to their card or not whether they signed up whether they you know like like a sign up a new lead uh, uh somebody who watched a video somebody did a checkout and somebody had a cart and somebody who did a search somebody who viewed a category all these different things are what the events and the default event that I have here is where is it current subtract name I have add to cart I have page view so these are the names that I'm putting in here to track name which I think is not correct but anyways that's just code right I gotta figure out the code but that's so that's how you create ads right in Pinterest you basically go here like let's go back we I said I was gonna show you how let's just look what I'm what I said I would do is how to use Pinterest ad platform to retarget properly so that what do you need to do first you need to have in conversions you need to create your Pinterest tag and you need to add it to your sites that you want to keep track of your visitors right secondly secondly you need to um create an audience so under audiences you need to come in here and you need to create an audience that is either people that have viewed your tag or people that have went to your website those kinds of things so that you can retarget them right 
then you need to create an ad that you use one of these audiences as the destination or the target to uh, show the, the the pin to the ad to that's that's pretty much it I mean it's it's not super simple there's a lot of stuff to kind of learn but I hope that what I showed you will help and if you have any questions you can always comment below comment below the video comment below the blog post and let let's have a conversation and I can do zoom with you help you to uh, to set up things on your Pinterest so we can get you to target your existing blog site visitors all right have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.